is this is the Asus TP510. When you take off the Phillips, as you can see, it opens up from the top. So when you pull it up, you'll see a big connector here, connected to the touchpad, to the finger sensor. So there's two. You'll just lift up the back. And then there's one more. This little guy that I just removed from on here, just right there. So you lift up the back and it comes off. And to get the motherboard out, this is where I'm upgrading this to a 256. It's an M2 SSD. It's got the B and the M key. And it's got a place for a hard drive. Now, once you take all the screws out, take these screws from here and all the Phillips. You disconnect this and then the Wi-Fi card and Bluetooth module has a Phillips. Once you take that out, you can pull it back and move it to the side. Take all the screws for the hard drive and then you can lift it up. As the battery goes, it sets in like this. I just put the Phillips that I used on one corner, pushed it up. So now, take the battery, set it on the side, get the Wi-Fi module. You can uh, disconnect the fan, clean it out, unscrew these, put some new thermal paste. You can get this off Amazon. And you got two 8 gig modules. If you have less, you can add DDR4. As you can see, They are 2400T types and you can see there's another processor right here. I'm guessing this is where the GPU might be. You can disconnect the fan, disconnect the battery first and go ahead and do some cleaning. I can clean right there. Then I can just reassemble it. So once you remove the Phillips, you're going to go ahead and clean this. You can use some compressed air, clean out the fan. We're going to go ahead and clean here and here. And put the new ssd and we'll be back like new